Welcome back, everybody, to a segment I'm deciding to call Triple P, Planting with Pike and Paul. Or we could call it Eminem, Milliken, and Melody. Good to see you. You too, Paul. I'm all about the acronyms today. Let's talk about <laughs> succulents. So, so we've talked about this before, but I want to make sure people know, what exactly is a succulent? Okay, a succulent is a plant that holds water in some part of its plant body. Okay. So it could be the leaves, it can be the roots, or there are even bulbs that are succulents that hold water, but they hold that water as excess water and store it to use it when they're not getting any rainwater. Okay, so does that mean that they're good for outdoor, indoor? Where, where should we have succulents? We have some of both. So okay. here in our area, there are some, especially sedums mm -hmm. and hens and chicks, the sempervivums, that do really great year-round outside yeah. in full sun. They like full sun and they like to be on the dry side, which means, hey, they're easy, right? Nice. Yeah. yeah so you can go away on vacation and you don't have to worry about them. Yeah. There are also some that like the bright spots indoors because okay. they don't do well outside in the cold of the winter. So you okay. can have them in both spots. Well, one thing I love about succulents is you can be so creative when you display them. So talk about some different options we have for planting and displaying them. I know that is one of the coolest things about yeah. them is they have so many different textures yep. and colors in their foliage. You can really just choose one that you like and mix and match. You can do like we do with regular container gardens where you have something that's your center focal point and then you have some things to fill around and spill. So the same principle as regular container garden, thriller, filler, spiller, okay. or you can create little mini gardenscapes like we've done here you can see this one almost kind of appears to be a beachy kind of scene yeah and it's got the purples and the blues and we've finished it on the top with different kinds of rock mm -hmm. so you can add def different elements of um, glass you know tumbled glass yeah, that yeah. might be in the blue color that look like beach you yeah. can use mosses mm -hmm. but these give it just that little bit of an extra finishing touch and gives you a little bit of creativity I think a little container garden like that too what a cool gift idea I know and even little small ones mm -hmm. You can see little tiny ones like this that are great for indoors, make yeah. perfect little gifts for an office yeah. space. Yeah, yeah. And I love they're that. easy. So you're giving a gift that's not going to be something someone has to worry about taking care of. Yeah, and if folks want help putting together a little garden like this, you've got a class coming up. We do. Saturday morning at 9 a.m. at okay. all of our locations, we're going to teach you how to plant and take care of succulents. Fantastic. You're always there for us. Thank you very much. If you want more information on today's segment, go to today's viewer information story on the Fox 5 Atlanta app. I have to give Joanne credit. It was Flowers with Feldman last mm -hmm. week, and she named this segment Petals with Paul. I like it. Alliteration <laughs> lives. <laughs> no doubt about it.